Hey guys, so the new NVIDIA GPUs have been announced, so let's get right into it. A lot of people have been curious if their current hardware is going to bottleneck something like maybe the 3070, 3080, 3090. Specifically, they really want to know, I do as well, everybody does, if the PCIe Generation 3 versus 4 is going to be a really big difference. So let's talk about this. It's still a lot of speculation until the GPUs are actually released, but we have some data to go on and we have some ideas and that way at least it's going to ease a lot of people's minds i think and put everything into perspective and remember to subscribe if you like my content smash the like button helps us grow the channel leave a comment below with any questions you may have so let's get right into it so now pcie generation 3 versus 4 that's the primary question in terms of bottlenecking your gpu aside from whatever cpu you have and things of that nature Basically, Generation 4 is going to be, as the name implies, it's newer, faster, and the AMD motherboards such as X570 already support Generation 4. Um, I'm sure some of you guys may have the really fast NVMe drives that do Generation 4. And if you've done a speed test on these Generation 4 NVMe drives, you'll see that they're considerably faster than Generation 3. Of course, then you need the same drives in order to be able to take advantage of those speeds. But how does that translate into GPUs? Currently, as it stands, even if you have an AMD motherboard with Generation 4, send something like the 2080 Ti, which is one of the most powerful GPUs, it can't really take advantage of Generation 4. It's not really designed for that. There have been some tests done on the current generation, um, even on the 5700 XC. I believe the channel Hardware Unboxed, they did a couple of tests, including the 2080 Ti. And already, sometimes there will be a minor difference. Sometimes it's only 1% or 2%. Um, in some games, maybe it can spike as high as 5%, depending on exactly, you know, if you're running maybe a Radeon 5700 XT. There's definitely little inklings of a possible difference there. And it makes sense because why would they upgrade to generate? 4 if they don't plan on at least eventually having a nice performance difference now for the current generation 20 series nvidia's gpu you don't really have to worry about that because the difference is more or less negligible um, it didn't really have that much of an impact it's very dependent on the game you're running um, the cpu is also going to have an effect and now we come down to the main question what about the new generation gpus 3070 3080 3090 now, I'll preface by saying that nobody really knows the answer because they're not really out in the wild yet. We've just had a lot of speculation. We've had announcements from NVIDIA. Until people actually start testing these in the real world and we get reviews out in the real world, you know, that are coming in the next couple of weeks, we're not going to be able to have the complete answer. But at least we can kind of theorize and start planning our builds based on what we know now. Now, I think eventually Generation 4 will have an impact on the GPU performance just because that makes sense it's more bandwidth it's more power that's definitely where it's gonna go but for now I wouldn't worry as much about that like for example a lot of people that have maybe current generation Intel including the something like the 10900 K Z490 um, even the Z390 even Z170 everything's gonna be PCIe generation 3 and AMD as you guys know x570 um, as well as Threadripper they do have generation 4 and as we mentioned before they're taking advantage of that with the NVMe drives so now if you have one of these Intel chipsets should you be worried? Should you try to switch over to AMD that already has the generation for PCIe? Um, well, I really wouldn't rush into it. I wouldn't worry about it as much. If there is a difference and it's a tangible difference. Even at that, I don't think the performance is going to be tremendously different. It might be just one or two percent in the beginning. Maybe worst case scenario, depending on the game, different games are going to take advantage of this as well in a very different way. You may hit four or five percent, which definitely if that were true, if generation four gave you a five percent boost just on the PCIe four motherboards, AMD would finish the job with Intel because a five percent difference. That's where it starts to be pretty attractive. But as it stands now, in a lot of cases, some of these Intel CPUs like the 10900K, even the 8700K, they can clock pretty well in their terms of like single core performance. And that's still very important for gaming. So in a lot of cases, if you have a very high clocking Intel CPU, even if it's a Z490, Z390, a little bit older, whatever advantage PCIe generation four may have in the beginning 
But eventually, as that matures, of course, Generation 4 will give you more performance as different drivers are optimized. Maybe games take advantage of it more. Hardware comes out that takes advantage of it. So if you're planning on getting something like the 370 or the 380, I wouldn't necessarily go crazy and upgrade everything at once. Try it first in your system. Wait right until these GPUs are released. Test it in your system. Look at the different reviews and benchmarks that are coming out. Let's see if Generation 4 is already really having any type of impact or a difference. We're not going to know completely until these GPUs come out. We can speculate all we want, but until we have actual numbers um, from the actual GPUs, we're not going to know in a concrete manner really what to do. I don't think the difference is going to be that big in the beginning. So those people that maybe have AMD motherboards without Generation 4 and Intel motherboards without Generation 4, I wouldn't go out and worry about it yet. If there is a difference, it's going to be very minor, I believe, in the beginning. Um, you know, things just aren't advanced enough yet where Generation for is that mature and aside from that like i mentioned there are going to be a few things that may counterbalance that difference let's say if you have an x570 with generation 4 and a 3070 maybe that generation 4 is going to give you a couple of percentage points better performance in a particular game but it's possible if you have let's say an intel 10900k even though it's on generation 3 maybe that processor clocking higher than whatever ryzen processor you have on generation 4 it may be a little bit of a wash if it's a one or two percent difference and keep in mind if you have an existing z490 motherboard eventually intel with their 11th generation cpus which they're going to call rocket lake they will also support pcie generation 4 so at least that's sort of what the rumors are now i'm not too sure if it's on specific motherboards but i know z490 um, eventually may also get that support so if you have an intel z490 while the current generation 10th generation like the 10 900k um, won't take advantage of pcie generation 4 there's a good chance that the next release which will also likely work on z490 will take advantage so if you have that particular motherboard then i think you might be a little bit safer but of course something like z390 um, or older if you have a 7700k those are not going to get the gen 4 support then it's going to come down to a question how good is pcie generation 4 is it going to be something that's going to provide a lot more performance gains than we really see now with something like a 2080 ti it's going to depend on these GPUs that are coming out from NVIDIA as well as whatever AMD decides to announce. Now, if it's going to be that big of a deal, then you're going to see a lot of people moving over to X570 and Intel is going to have to really release these processors that take advantage of Generation 4 or else Intel is already struggling with the enthusiast and gamer market. Everybody's already going towards AMD. If they lose this as well to AMD, if Generation 4 gives AMD more of a performance boost, along with AMD's Ryzen, the 4000 series that are coming out, they've been getting better and better at single core clock speeds, better and better at gaming. That could be the final nail in the Intel's coffin, because right now Intel still kind of rides on the fact that in some cases, some CPUs like the 10900K definitely will give you more frames per second and overall better performance. So I really think they need to be careful in how they release support for PCIe Generation 4 because it's not a big deal now, but I think in the future, that's where we're going. So they're going to really have to stay competitive or else we're going to end up with only AMD processors. And that's not ideal as well. You always want competition in the market, even though people right now, I know everybody's against Intel and for good reason, they were really stagnant for a long time, but you need competition in the market or else the same thing can happen to AMD. Um, they may stop innovating if they're the only player in the game so hopefully intel will also respond with something with pcie generation 4 that way we can have an equal balance between two different competitors and overall that's better for the consumer so to summarize if you're going to be getting the 3070 3080 i wouldn't worry about pcie generation 3 versus 4 too much now there may be a difference in generation 4 by a few percentage points but in the beginning it's still not going to be a big big deal now if you're going to go for the 3090 since that's going to be a much more powerful gpu that's going to do even 8k i could see that becoming a problem much faster than other gpus if you're just running 4k and below maybe 1440p 1080p I think you're going to be less likely to bottleneck your system. Now, if you're going to be doing the 3090 at 8K, I think in that situation, you may definitely start to see more of a difference with Generation 4 PCIe. But even 8K gaming really isn't here yet, even though NVIDIA had a little presentation on it. Um, so I think, but possibly even at 4K with a card like the 3090 that has that much power, 
that's where you may start to see a difference. But in general, if you're getting a card like a 3090, most likely you may be on a platform that's going to be maybe a little more supportive of something like Generation 4, be it X570, Threadripper, or even Z490, like we mentioned, may eventually get support for Generation 4. Um, we're really going to have to see these numbers. Um, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as I start to see more information, see it come out. Because I know everybody wants to know if it's going to bottleneck their system. Should they upgrade from their older Intel systems or their older AMD systems? Right now, I would say stay put. Wait for the numbers. Um, even if there is a difference, like I said, I don't think it's a very huge difference. So let's see what happens. We're pretty close to getting our answer. Um, we'll know a little bit better in the coming weeks as these cards release. But all right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions below. Remember to watch my other videos. Subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Leave that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next video.